This is problem 66 from chapter 2, Kinematics in One Dimension. We have an airplane uh, that is traveling at a speed of 720 km per hour for 2100 km. And then there is a tailwind that increases uh, the speed of the plane to 990 km per hour for the next 2800 km. We are asked to find the total time for the trip and also the average speed. The plane is moving at a constant speed. So we can use the equation for the constant speed motion or V is equal to delta x over delta t. We are asked to find the time, so we isolate for delta t here. Delta t is equal to delta x over v. There are two parts to this trip. For the first uh, part, the plane travels 2100 kilometers at a speed of 720 kilometers per hour. So we have delta x1 is equal to 2100 kilometers. For the second part, we have a distance of delta x2 2800 kilometers and the speed of the plane is now 990 kilometers per hour. To find the total time, we can find the time it takes um, the plane to travel the first part, delta t1, and the second part, delta t2, and we just add them. Delta t1 is equal to delta x1 divided by v1, or 2100 kilometers, divided by 720 kilometers per hour, which is equal to 2.0. 9.1 hours. Delta T2 is equal to delta X2 divided by V2 or 2800 kilometers divided by 990 kilometers per hour or 2.83 hours. So the total time is equal to delta t1 plus delta t2, which is equal to 2.91 plus 2.83, or 5.74 hours. The average speed is equal to Total distance divided by total time. Total time from the previous part is equal to 5.74 hours. And the total distance is equal to delta x1 plus delta x2 or 2100 plus 2800 kilometers, which is 4900 kilometers total. So the average speed is equal to 4900 kilometers divided by 5.74 hours. which is equal to 854 kilometers per hour. Equation 211 states, read as our speed is equal to V plus V naught divided by 2. This does not apply here 